after many, many years of study, they have finally determined that bees should be added to the endangered species list. And colony collapse disorder, as they call it, is taking 30 to 70 percent of all of the bees every year. Um, what we're hearing as to how they determine this is the windshield test. They send a car out across the countryside and see how many bees it hits. And that number has exponentially, tremendously been reduced from 20 or 30 years ago. And so the bees continue to decline. It's a horrible thing, as Albert Einstein once put it, should we lose the bees, we're four years away from losing everyone. As consumers, we have an opportunity to make a difference. And oftentimes we see this stuff on the internet and you go, oh yeah, the bees, the bees. And we don't feel any responsibility, but it is our responsibility. Um, when you look at products and you go buy things, it's our responsibility to make an educated decision as to what products are harming the bees and what products are not harming the bees. And so this is why it's important to buy organic or grow your own produce and, and, or, or buy from a local farmer's market who you know does not spray pesticides because pesticides, um, though you might be killing the worm that gets in your apple, you're also killing the bees that pollinate um, all the rest of our produce. So um, that, that's a big issue we're having to deal with right now. We heard about the Zika virus and all that's been going on. Um, I heard the documented one mosquito has been found to carry the Zika virus. However, I've also heard and read, we hear a lot of these things in the news and we make our own presumptions. I also heard that you can transmit Zika virus for six months. So it's people that are transmitting the Zika virus more than the mosquitoes is what I understand. So why are we spraying everything for one mosquito and killing millions of bees? Um, these are things to be addressed, to be um, paid attention to. So we know what's harming, the, what's harming more than it helps. We've got to make wise decisions as individuals, as shoppers, as, uh, uh, as governments, as local municipalities are making these kinds of decisions every day, as states, governors, and on a federal, national level for every uh, country too. This isn't just the U.S., but this, these decisions have to be made across the board in a wise fashion. So getting the education out there, finding out what's causing the problems will help us to make wise decisions going forward. Um, you know, the internet is an amazing thing we have today, social media and the way that news and information spreads live, Facebook Live and all these great ways we have to get the information out there. Um, our world has opened up in such a way that we now, um, when there's a problem, we see it, we can address it, and we can move forward. So um, we don't have to take a knee-jerk reaction and say, oh my gosh, this is terrible, and oh my gosh, that's terrible, but let's be reasonable about it. Let's take it in, understand the problem, hear from the experts, take a look at it, and move forward. Let's look forward to how we save the bees by our purchasing decisions and by what we know. All right? Have a great day, everybody, and uh, you'll see more of this. I'll do a little more of this kind of intimate setting television ever so often as I get a chance. So have a great day.